Hi, my name is Travis Rakowski, and today we're going to talk about Zscaler Digital Experience and one of our most popular features and in integrations, and that is with Microsoft Teams and pulling in call quality dashboard information directly into Zscaler Digital Experience. The reason why this integration is so popular is it's combining the data points that are already collected with ZDX and then with Microsoft, stitching the two together to give that full end-to-end -end view of what is causing a user's poor experience during a Microsoft Teams call. So let's go ahead and dive into this feature. Once the integration is complete, we will start to pull in meeting, meeting data across your environment. Diving into a particular meeting, we can then see how many users are in that meeting, as well as their associated ZDX score and Moz score. This information is valuable, as you can tell, across the meeting as a whole. Were all users impacted? Was it just a single user that was impacted? Or maybe it was the presenter that had a poor ZDX score and then had that trickle-down perception effect that the team's call quality as a whole was very poor. So now let's go ahead and dive into an individual attendee from this meeting. Once we're at the individual user's screen, we can now see the associated Moz score for audio, video, and sharing. It's good to note, did the video or audio quality change when sharing was enabled, or did the video or audio change when they were just on audio or just on video? Understanding that impact is good to realize what is the overall ZDX score and what were the parts of the call that were performing poorly for the user. On top of that, we give you the full end-to-end -end connectivity of the user to Microsoft. Did they have a wired or wireless connection? Were we seeing any packet loss or latency in between the user and Microsoft? Having this visibility is great for network teams to diagnose potential high latency or high packet loss areas that could be contributing to a poor Microsoft Teams call. Additionally, we also collect device events. Here we can see CPU and memory and disk utilization. Are we seeing any spikes during the duration of the call? And what is the underlying process that's contributing to that spike? From there, we can go down to device events, where we will capture things like network changes, SSID changes, even wireless channel changes, all in which could have an impact for the user during a Microsoft Teams call. To finalize this demo, I'll also show you our software inventory, which will highlight the Teams version that is being used for this user. Having this data is incredibly incredibly valuable to understand has the user recently upgraded or downgraded their Microsoft Teams version at an organization level. Are they either at a newer or older release than your standard user base? So from here, you can see Microsoft Teams, you can see the version, as well as then the version history for that individual user. This is great to identify have the problems started occurring since maybe that upgrade or downgrade of Teams version on the machine. And then at an organizational level, we can look across the entire org to see what is the Teams version that is most used in the environment and how does that individual user compare to the greater install base. So to recap, all of these data points coming together in a single pane of glass provides value to not only communications teams, that might manage and, and work on the Microsoft Teams deployment, also the end user compute team, the network team, and the service desk team to combine visibility across the application, network, and endpoint into a single tool to really streamline that troubleshooting process for Microsoft Teams in your organization. Thank you.